Right, so that's the uh, that's the three dark caverns she's done anyway. <coughs> <coughs> like I said, I don't really want to smoke much more today. Um, I'll do the sale tomorrow. Uh, this basically leads this video back to the point that I originally wanted it to be, which was um, just a comparison of three different styles of dark, dark Cavendish I've got access to. The um, the sale, the kind of Danish light aromatic Cavendish that I'll be reviewing tomorrow is more of an example of a typical Dutch Cavendish, which <coughs> for the comparison reason is irrelevant. A lot of American Cavendishes are made a lot in the same lines of the um, as the Dutch styles, mixtures of different leaves that are then sort of like uh, cased and flavoured and compressed and left to ferment. <coughs> but comparing the three dark Cavendishes, I mean, if we start off with the lanes, the American style black Cavendish, it's very, very light, very sweet, doesn't really have much of a tobacco flavour, there's not much of it left, it's more of a, just a cool, sweet smoke, not much, not much taste to it, not much complexity. But makes a great base. They'd say it doesn't have much of its own flavour, so it doesn't impede flavourings very much. Uh, the burn issue, like I was saying earlier, is overcome by mixing in either some golden Cavendishes in there with it, or a bit of gold Virginia, just to just to kind of keep the burn going. Then after that, we move on to the DVC, which, like I say, is kind of it's in a league of its own, really. Um, the style of tobacco, the fact that it's only lightly, lightly smoked. I mean, lightly steamed, sorry, and then it's still compressed and it's fermented for a small period of time. Kind of removes some of the strength from it, but still, at the same time, retains its flavour. It's still got a very typical sort of Lakeland taste to it. It's a kind of like nice Virginias with a slightly soapy hints of floral. And that mixed with the sweet casing, a very, very sweet casing, kind of coats your mouth completely. It's a sweet tobacco, it's a smooth tobacco, it's very enjoyable. But again, because it's a base tobacco, it's kind of missing a bit of something. I feel it should be used more in some mixtures, and I am going to come up with a little bit of something that I can do with the DVC. That then brings us on to the English Cavendish, which, unlike the other two, it isn't really a sweet aromatic. It's got sweet taste to it, it's kind of got very, very sweet moments, but it's a big, bold, complex tobacco. It reminds me a lot of a good aged vintage cigar, you can taste the maturity in the tobacco. Um, but it's a hefty, 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 hefty smoke. The um, exclusive black cherry is not to a lot of people's liking. It's a very acquired taste. It's a very strong taste. Suit those who like smoking things like the dark plug or some of the triple X, which in a way is kind of Cavendish tobacco. It's just instead of it being compressed into a block, it's spun into a rope. But we'll talk more about that at another time. Um, but now the English, the English black Cavendish is very well suited for its use in English mixtures and as I mentioned before the Scotch cut cake mixtures. It kind of gives a bit of a sweetness, helps the Virginia, gives the Virginia a little bit more sweetness and kind of cools the smoke down a lot, levels out the burn and it, com it must, com it com must complement the Latakia very well. It's going to be another little experiment I'll do, I'm just basically going to just use the Cavendish and Latakia and see what we can come up with. Um, but no, so this is, say, the end of this segment. The, dras dif the vast differences between these three styles of dark Cavendish is unbelievable. To say that the English and the American are called the same thing, most people wouldn't think twice about it, but it makes a big difference. So the black Cavendishes found in your tinned English mixtures aren't the same as what you find in your sweet American aromatics. I, to be honest, hadn't really thought about it. I just assumed that some Cavendishes were a bit stronger and some were a bit lighter, but... No, this big distinct difference between the two makes a massive difference. So um, I hope you've enjoyed watching these videos. I say I'll be talking about the sale in a video I do tomorrow. I'll kind of relate that back into this one. So I say I hope you've enjoyed watching these videos. I hope you found them informative. Um, I've found it very informative. We've been doing all the research into this. If you want to check out my blog, there's a lot more information over there. And um, if anyone's got any questions or any comments, as I keep saying, stick it in the comments box at the bottom, send me a message, send me an email, contact me through Twitter. I'm available in most uh, most digital means these days. So yeah, thanks a lot, and uh, like I say, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, okay do goodbye. The, uh, do the lick test, so... It's got a... very very spicy taste to it on the tongue it's kind of a bit bit alcoholy brandy rum and then the sweet 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 butter 
sort of like Danish butter cookie, vanilla y maple sort of taste to it. You can tell it's got a lot more nicotine in it compared to what the rain tobacco has. I've got the nicotine burn you get from chew. <coughs> That's what else.